Hey what's up guys this is Zafni hope you all are doing well and welcome to my new video so in this video i will show you the 15 tips for the Samsung Galaxy M20 the budget smartphone from Samsung and if this video helps you then please click the subscribe button and hit the like button for more quality tech videos Welcome back to my channel guys and we are getting started into the 15 amazing tips for the Samsung Galaxy M20. So let's get started with the first one, the assistant menu. Actually it's a kind of floating button which contains navigation button and some sort of shortcuts. To enable this feature, go to settings, scroll down then select the accessibility. After that, select the dexterity and interaction. So on the top, you can see the assistant menu, turn on the toggle button, then you're almost done. So this is the way it looks like and also you can adjust the transparency and size of the assistant menu too in the menu settings. So tip number two, Samsung Max. I already installed the application in my phone and you can download it from the play store just search for Samsung Max. Then after completing the installation open the application then agree some terms and conditions as usual. So Samsung Max is a free VPN and it's far better than other VPN apps available in the play store. VPN means virtual private network. So it's a private network and you can browse securely without any issue. So by the help of this application, you can browse blocked websites and the blocked apps in your country by hiding your IP address and your location. So your searches are almost secure and encrypted with the VPN. To enabling the VPN, just turn on the privacy protection toggle button, then you are done. And now onwards, you can browse the internet securely with Samsung Max VPN. Tip number three, call recording. After the mid of 2018, Samsung added a new feature in their smartphones called call recording. And please note, this feature is not supported in some countries. I don't know why that's happening. If anybody knows that, please comment in the comment section. So to enabling the call recording, open the dialer then select the three dots on the top right corner then select the settings scroll down a little bit then select the record calls and turn on the auto call recording toggle button so you are almost done and now you can record all the incoming and outgoing calls in high quality i promise you to all this gives a high quality call recording better than any third party application available in the play store Tip number 4 Dark Mode or Dark Theme Out of the box, the Galaxy M20 comes with Android Oreo, so there is no Night Mode feature available in the M20. So when you look into the Settings app, Dialer, Messaging app, all are in widescreen and it's so hard to use in the night. So to make a fake Night Mode in the M20, it's pretty easy now. Go to Samsung Themes, then search High Contrast Theme. Then select the first theme because the icons are fully same as the Samsung icons. Then download the theme and apply it. It will take some time for downloading. After applying the theme, your device turns into fully black and it's very easy to use in the day and night time. Also you can save a small amount of battery too. Tip number 5 Touch Sensitivity So this is one of the major issue facing the Galaxy M20 users that the screen is projected out from the body and it's very easy to break the whole screen with a single drop. And most of the users apply screen protectors to prevent the screen from these types of damages. So when you put a screen protector in it, 
it will slightly reduce the touch sensitivity of your screen. To fix this issue and increase the touch sensitivity, go to settings, then select the advanced features and scroll down to the bottom, then turn on the touch sensitivity toggle button. So you are almost done and I wish after this you can see the difference in the touch sensitivity. Tip number 6 High Contrast Font So this feature is more useful to someone who not able to read the small text on the settings tab, in the dialer, the messaging app and so on. And to enabling the high contrast font, open the settings, then select the accessibility and then select the vision on the top and then turn on the high contrast font toggle button. So now you can see the difference how it looks like before and after we enabling the high contrast font. So this is pretty cool and so dark the fonts are. So you can easily read without any struggle. Tip number 7 Quick Open Notification Panel Out of the box Samsung comes with some default settings like swipe up and swipe down for app drawer and if you want to access the notification bar then you must go to the top of the screen. So if you want to access the notification much easier than this then go to the home screen settings and turn on the toggle button for the quick open notification panel. So that's it and you are done. And from now onwards you can open the notification panel by simply swipe down the home screen and then swipe up for the app drawer. Tip number 8 Lock Screen Stories So there is some advanced settings in the Lock Screen Stories. To access those settings, open the settings app, then select the Lock Screen and select the Lock Screen Stories. Then if you don't want to see those Lock Screen Stories, then turn off the toggle button and it will completely shut off the Lock Screen Stories. And the second thing is, you can also add your own photos to it and customize the Lock Screen too. So you can add the images from the gallery and it will shuffle the images with the lock screen stories. So that's a nice thing that you can also add your, your own stories too. Tip number 9 dot notification. After the first boot up you can see some notification bar just on the top side of the apps and it shows the number of notification you received. So for me the notification numbers are really so annoying and to change the notification bar just to dot notification or you can turn it off. Go to the home screen settings then turn off the app icon bar just toggle button. So from now there is no app icon bar just shown on your apps. Also there is an another feature too that is the dot notification. Turn on the toggle button and open the app icon bar just then select the show without number. So you can see the difference in the screen and I love the dot notification more than the notification bars. It looks so good and it's really a minimal feel in the screen. Tip number 10 Landscape Mode By enabling this feature, you can use your device completely in a tablet view mode. To activate this feature, Go to the home screen settings, then turn off the portrait mode only toggle button and also turn on the auto rotation too. So that's it and now you can use your M20 in a tablet view mode. Tip number 11 Smart Alert So it's a nice feature and very useful to all. If you received a missed call or a text message when you leave your handset on the desk or in your pocket and after a while you pick up the handset then it will vibrate and you can understand there is a missed call or a text message without unlocking your handset. To enabling this feature go to settings then select the advanced features and turn on the smart alert toggle button. So that's it and you are done. Tip number 12 Full Screen Gestures And actually on the bottom there are 3 on screen buttons 
recent home and back buttons so after enabling the full screen gesture you can hide the buttons and navigate the old device using gesture so go to the settings select the display then select the navigation bar so you can see the full screen gesture now select the bullet button then you are done and navigate with gestures also there is an additional option to gesture hints after turn on this toggle button you can see three thin lines on the bottom which represents the on screen buttons so you can use this with the gesture hints or without the gesture hints so mostly i prefer using with the gesture hints it is more convenient than the normal gestures tip number 13 multi window if you are not even activated the multi window then just follow these settings so multi window is a great feature and it makes our task more easy than before go to the settings then select the advanced features and select the multi window and turn on the pop up view action toggle button so you are almost done and also you can see an animated instruction on the screen like that swipe from the top corners you can use the apps in multi window so most of the system apps and other apps from the play store support this feature and you can use those apps in multi window tip number 14 camera floating button so yeah there is a floating camera button and you can place it anywhere on the screen and capture photos easily so simply swipe the shutter button to the screen then you will get a floating shutter button and if you want to remove this from the screen then hold and swipe the floating button to the home button that's it tip number 15 secure startup so actually it's a next level security for the samsung devices and out of the box the secure startup is disabled in all the devices so without enabling the secure startup anyone can turn off your phone or turn on your phone without any permissions then after enabling the secure startup no one can turn on or turn off your device without drawing the pattern lock so to enabling this feature go to settings then select the biometrics and security then scroll down and select the secure startup and select the require pattern when power on then tap the okay button and confirm with your pattern so you are almost done and i will show you how it works in the real life So thanks for watching my video guys and if this video helps you then please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more quality tech videos this is afni and see you on my next video